So listen, guys, what else do we got to go on this guy? He's been sitting around for a few weeks. Uh, where are we at, Grant? Uh, we got that uh, 700 horse Hellcat ready to install, but we're waiting for our K member to put in so that we can get this puppy jammed up inside there and uh, hook up our transmission, force uh, the six speed to 6060 and uh, wiring. So transmission, we have the Tremec six, not Tremec six speed, what's in there? Tremec six speed, 60, okay. 60 yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah that's and all. right after that, uh, Ashley, what's going on with the body? Well, once they get that, then, then we'll take it out, drop the water back out, and we'll carry out and continue with body work, front end body work, some fiberglass work in the back end. Um, we'll go from there, yeah. So what do you figure? How many hours do we got left in this guy? Oh, probably about, uh, probably about 300, eh? Three to 500 hours. Let, let's paradise garage this bullshit up. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, we can paradise. All right, lock and load. Let's go home. Dave, it doesn't look like that car is getting done, eh? We still got parts coming and yeah, we're not here. Yeah, we a few pieces coming yet, yeah. Okay, well, here's the deal. We got to phone Gerard because he was going to pick it up today. So give him a call and let him know it's not coming today. Okay, I'll phone him right now. Uh, the biggest change, uh, and I'll bring it up, is of course to do with COVID. It, it changed all our lives. It's really hurt the industry as a whole on getting parts. You know, we've got some customers that, uh, uh, they haven't been sore with us, but again, we just have to reach out and explain to them all the time because I don't want them out there just thinking the worst. Hello, hey, Gerard, how you doing? Uh, not too bad. Good. Uh, are you excited? You're getting excited. Are you on your way up? Uh, not quite yet. Okay. Well, I just had to phone you. I got some bad news. No. Um, what do you mean bad news? Well, what's happened here is we've been waiting on some parts. Uh, they were supposed to have been here yesterday. I phoned the vendor this morning, and of course the vendor is uh, on it for the manufacturers, and the stuff hasn't even showed up at his yard yet. A lot of this stuff was supposed to be here a long time ago. Well, it was. You know, it's unfortunate this, what's going on. It's just uh, everything's been such a stall. So, unfortunately, I just, you know, can I'd love... I, well, can I take the car home today, or...? Two weeks. I need two weeks to get it finished. Oh, no. I had to be in Saskatoon with it this weekend. We had stuff lined up for Yeah, I know, but yeah. I feel terrible about this whole thing. You know, like it's just, unfortunately, like I said, we're we're at the end of it here. So I don't have to come up today? Then. No, unfortunately, we're going to have to just leave it for now. And I apologize that this happens, right. but it's just the nature of the business. Oh, boy. Okay. Again, I apologize. Well, we okay. We'll talk soon. Oh, Thank, okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. So unfortunately, Miles, it is what it is. is I know. guess as long as uh, we can get it within the next two weeks. So what I want you to do, every morning on the phone. Please. Yeah. Okay? okay. Absolutely. If you do that, we're guaranteed. And then every second day, just give Gerard an update. Yeah. And we'll keep everybody happy. And okay. That'll work. It was. Uh, it's a big project. We've been working on it for just over 20 months now. Uh, I, the perplexity of this build is massive. A lot of specialty parts going into this. We're running a 700 horsepower Hellcat engine in there. Uh, everything is upgraded. We had to put stiffeners in, frame stiffeners, because it's unibody, right? We had to join the torque boxes or else, look like at that motor, it'll split that car in half. It'll twist it right up like a can, <laughs> you know? 700 horsepower, holy Christ, it's amazing. We had to get the fiberglass kit. So the wing and the nose and everything else. We went to the high end, the elite place out of the US, a father-son team out of Texas to build it. Uh, sad story. Uh, this was the last fiberglass kit that dad built before he passed away. Um, but it's on this car and it's a great job, but we have to put all that together. Guys, do you wanna just come here for a minute? So, um, I had a, uh, we were supposed to deliver this today, right? right. To Gerard, um, you know we're missing those two parts and it's manufacturer issue, not ours. Uh, vendor can't get them. Uh, they were supposed to be here yesterday. Um, we had to phone Gerard to tell him that it wasn't coming today. 
to be honest, I made Dave do it. Hey, yeah. that way I didn't have to get in that. Uh, Gerard wasn't happy, but he understood, right? He gets it, it's a difficult project, right? So uh, we just got to keep pushing and finishing. Uh, we've got a promise that we should have the parts here within 10 days. We told Gerard we'd have this thing completely done in two weeks. So just, you're doing a great job at her. Just get back at her and let's get her done. Okay, let's do her. With the Superbird project on hold, the team focuses on a few smaller projects waiting in the wings. Right. And uh, it was rusted out, dinged up, and none of the parts were there mostly. It was just kind of a bashed up body. And he wanted to have this built, I, I think mostly for his grandkids. But uh, so anyway, so we took it on and I assigned it to one of our guys, Roger. Nobody was super interested in it. Lots of guys went the other way when it came in. Because um, we are primarily a muscle car shop, you know, stuff like that. But it is still a car, you know. he said he wanted for his grandkids to move around and I, man, right away my head exploded with all kinds of ideas. I'm not opposed to doing a pedal car style, but to be honest, why? When you can do so much more with it. So I was a little concerned because when you found out it was for the kids, I've built plenty of other random little neat projects with gas motors and I find kids, they don't like loud sounds. So immediately I thought, electric system, why not? I mean, it's a no-brainer, they're quiet, kids aren't scared of them. They'd be excited to jump into it, it moves under its own power. Uh, yeah, so, like I said, it didn't have a frame, so I started with uh, two by three and one by one, and again, it, it was for a child. These things are primarily pretty light cars. Like I said, they don't have motors or anything in them, but the kids were gonna use it. I wanted this thing to be durable. I didn't want a little chintzy, weak or bendy or flimsy, material on top of this thing. I may have overbuilt it, but it's gonna last, right? How fast can that thing go? I'm gonna, I've never really trapped it, but I'm, it's gotta be around 30K, you know? I mean, it's a little car, it's dirty, it's sharp, it's quick. You know, it can be wrecked pretty easy, but I mean, I've never seen nothing like that before. Look at that, eh? Wow. Hey. Hey. That, what do you think, that... Let's go ahead and take a look. Beautiful. That is beautiful. That is really nice. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? Good. You've done a tremendous job. Excellent, thank you. Really gorgeous. You like yeah. it? Pretty neat, hey? No, it's really, really, really beautiful. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy it. Come out the way I expected it. Yeah? Good. Although a joint effort, one journeyman mechanic watches as Roger takes sole credit for the project. Okay, way to go. Hey! <laughs> Hey, we're a regular shop, right? But we're in a different industry. So we're in an industry that we're pushing out a product that everybody that works on it is super proud of the work they do, okay? So I'm talking your journeyman auto body, your journeyman mechanics, and we're doing stuff that's maybe never been done before, especially not anywhere that I know of, right? So what happens is you got guys with some pretty big egos, right? Which is good, I like that, I like characters, but we got some clashing. Right? And there's definitely not a week that goes by that we don't have some sort of clash. We had an interesting one on the Austin J40. Um, you know, the uh, journeyman auto body Justin and Roger, who did the majority of the work on it, uh, both did some work uh, on it. And uh, the client comes in and thanks Roger for it. Justin is in the background, he's just steaming. So I got put on a J40, a little pedal car here, to do the body work and the paint work on it. And uh, yeah, it was, it, it was quite the build, a lot of stress into that build. And uh, yeah, me and uh, Roger got in a little battle there about the car, because I had to fix a lot of things that I shouldn't have had to do. And you know, it's just the way, and then he changed the way I did stuff. And you know, I'm a journeyman, he's not. Usually you don't switch the journeyman stuff around and stuff like that. So that was pretty disrespectful in the way I would say it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
whatever, it was created. I got it. We, like I said, we were running out of time. Uh, he was a new guy, came on board. He's obviously a lot quicker at painting than I am. Originally, like I said, it was on the side. I was going to do it start to finish. Ran out of time. I asked him to help out. He helped out. Uh, what really pissed me off about that J40 was the way I had that hood fabbed up and made. And uh, he completely changed the way I did that. And then. Uh, he posted on his social media that he pretty much took all the credit for that build. I don't know, somehow he seen it, it was on my Instagram, it wasn't on Facebook or something, I don't know, I don't really give a shit, to be honest. And he started fucking boohooing over it, like, who fucking cares, honestly? That's just something you don't do, man, like, you have to say it's a team thing rather than myself, and or at least add me in it, you know, don't take all the credit for something you didn't do all of, especially when I had to fix a lot of your work, you know, like, you know, if someone asked me, hey, did you paint it? I would have said, no, I would use the new guy. I don't really, honestly, I don't see what the big problem is. Karen's all upset and we got his panties in a bunch. That's it, I don't know. Yeah, so all this happened, I was looking for my hood pin and stuff like that, so I went over to confront Roger about it and he lied to me about he never seen it or ever took it out and stuff like that when two weeks prior to this he asked me for help putting it on my way. You just yeah, I just don't lie to people for one, especially when you get caught like in action. And uh, yeah, that and then it exploded from there. Like he said some things, I said some things, and that was it. Like it was Well, it was it was really humorous, I thought. I was I mean two grown-ups fighting over a dinky car. Like, it was great, man. It was awesome. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, it was pretty heated. I thought it was funny as hell, but we had, we had a little side bets going on because it went on for a while. It ended up out in the parking lot. And, oh yeah, it started inside. It was good. Hey, uh, Justin, Roger, do you guys want to come up here for a minute? Uh, it's, it's a little tense. It's been tense around here probably since it originally came to a head for the last three weeks. Uh, you can feel it in the air around there. Uh, it's just one of the things that happen in the shop, but at the end of the day, they have to get off their high horse, right? We work as a team, this is Paradise Garage. The recognition comes to Paradise Garage, not to individuals. So we do, we try to do a lot of team building and molding that way, but at the end of the day, you're still gonna get this. It's just this. So guys, I know that um, there's been a little bit of uh, animosity and stuff uh, with you two uh, on the Austin J40 and I, I get it right we've all got our egos and we all got pride in what we do um, you know what Roger we gave you the project you did a great job with it no question about it right nobody's questioning that uh, you came in Justin did a great job finishing off with some body work some paint honestly you guys did a great job and you both deserve credit but I'm gonna say this okay at the end of the day I need you guys to drop it get over it do your work. At the end of the day, there's only one place that gets credit, and that's Paradise Scratch. And you guys are part of that team, so there's no individual effort here. This yeah, is a absolutely. team effort. You guys did a great job. I'm proud of you. The client loved the car. Take pride in that, and take pride that you're part of our team at Paradise Scratch, okay? Yeah, sure. That's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Yeah. Let's get absolutely. out of here. Absolutely. Cool. Good. Good. Yourself? Great. <laughs> Good to see you. Nice well, seeing you too. You guys all ready? I uh, ready as ever. Excited? Oh yeah. Well, let's go over here and we'll uh, get in position. Oh, it's for been that my car dream car when I've seen it over 50 years ago now, back in 1970, and I've seen one, and it's never, never left my memory. So, <laughs> and uh, a couple years ago, yeah, I seen this lime green Roadrunner, and I said, I'm building my Superbird, and that's how it all started. <laughs> he mentioned it quite a few years ago. He was always admiring the car, so I guess that's initially what got him going on it. How's, uh, how's it been along the way? How's your guys' uh, uh, adventure been building the car? How long's it been going now? Uh, how many? Uh, it's been going, uh, it'll be two years this coming December is when I started it. So, yep, Miles has been really good. So, we got her done the way it sounds, so. <laughs> so, Betty, uh, so, you know this was his project. How do you feel about the bird? How's it been for you along the way? 
it'll be exciting. It's always been his dream, so yeah. Even though I can't drive it, <laughs> do nor do I care to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick to my Tahoe. <laughs> um, so, you know, do you know how much he spent on this thing? Do we know yet? Or no, actually, I was going to telling. get a hold of Dave in the corner. I have a pretty good idea, <laughs> but I want to hear it from the, the, the horse's mouth. <laughs> it's our retirement savings. And the kids, you know, what would they do with any money? They don't need money. No, <laughs> it's gone. Are you sure you're ready? Oh, yeah. We're ready. Bring her on Are out. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, Dave, bring that beauty out. <laughs> Just like on TV. Oh, Trump. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, that is <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, let's go take a look. All right. <laughs> right on, Dave. Take a step back, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, right on, Dave. <laughs> you kind of threw a little bit of fear uh, Yeah, threw some fear into me. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. About one of the most beautiful Looks you've ever seen. Looks excellent. Oh, yes. That's good. That's great. Well, let's take a quick walk. It on. is nice. Okay. What a beautiful. Oh, place. yeah, nice wheels. Okay. Yeah, they did turn out nice, right? Oh, that's perfect. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. perfect. Very nice. Oh, God, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, no, I said it looks like nice sitting in there. Oh yeah, it sits beautiful, but I mean, that engine bay, yeah. when you stick that engine in and oh, then it's so tight in there, yeah. like this is, I don't, you couldn't put a bigger engine in. So oh, it's nice. It's, it's nice. You oh, literally nice. have a one of a kind car, not just with the engine, yeah. but your trim out system, uh, your whole drivetrain, everything you've yeah, done to yeah. it. This is truly not just a super yeah, one, it's a one of a kind. That's perfect. No, she is beautiful. Well, thank you for uh, trusting us. Thanks, with the baby Bottles. And yes. The yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. <laughs> that is going to be so nice cruising down the highway. Well, no. So, is there anything you guys want to say to Boss? Something nice or. No, say, Not nice, no. No, yeah, no. No, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I told Miles before, thanks for building my dream car. Like, uh, it was a good thing he was here because I don't know, I would have never done it anywhere else, I don't think. Like anywhere further away, right? This was within 100 miles, so. And thank God he was here because now I got my dream car. So, right, yeah. I don't think there's much left on here that's not new. Well, I don't. Oh, the seats are beautiful. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Turn the kit. See what you got. Oh, clutching, I suppose. Oh, very nice. Oh, beautiful gauges. This is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Way beyond what I thought it would be. There we go. Another happy customer with Paradise Garage. Great build. Every one of my crew loves the part where we get to deliver a car. They love what they do, their passion is there, they put everything into it, but when we deliver that car or we deliver that truck, that's worth every bead of sweat, every bit of pain, all the effort, all the confusion, all worth it, right there. That's what we are with Paradise Garage. After another successful build, Miles has a moment of inspiration for the future of Paradise Garage. You know what? Uh, we've been fortunate. We've uh, been able to help a lot of people get in their cars and just the work we do is so cool, right? Our slogan is building one classic dream at a time. It'd be cool if we could help somebody else get in their dream car. Yeah, that'd be sweet. You know what? I'm gonna figure out a way to do it. So for me now, the next phase is with the show is take it to the next level. Build that back in with my philanthropic uh, nature and say, okay, why don't we help somebody build that dream car? I'm gonna put up to $25,000 toward your dream car. Now we're gonna have people apply. We wanna hear about your story. We wanna know about why this is important to you. We will get the estimates done 
we'll contact you, we'll, you know, you'll be featured in the next episode, but I'm willing to put my money on the table to get you and your dream car. So that's the next big phase for us is let's get more people going.